Hello world, oh, this is Wolfstar Games, it's Anton, and welcome back to more AI The Somnium Files. So, first off, I want to apologize for the sudden unannounced break that I took. I just, after my uh, Let's Play of Dark, the Dark Pictures Anthology, A Little Hope, I, I just decided to take a little break... Uh, so that I could focus on uh, getting uh, some trophy cleanup with that game. So, but now I'm all done with that, and so I am back to my LPing again. So, with that, uh, last time, uh, to I had to refresh my memory of what happened last time. Last time we mind melded with Mizuki to find out what exactly happened at uh, uh, Bloom Park with her. And uh, we fortunately learned a great deal, but at the same time we learned from her memories that there is also something a little, I don't know, sinister going on, it seems. I mean... There was that uh, mysterious uh, figure at the very end of her uh, memories. So I'll be interested to see what that entails exactly. I mean, it's like, who was that figure? Or who is that figure, I should say? It's like... I can only speculate at this point. I mean, I I can't imagine that it's someone that we've already uh, met. I imagine it's someone that, well, maybe I'm speaking too soon, but maybe it's someone that we haven't met yet in-game. I don't know. I mean... I, and I don't want to. Ins I don't want to particularly uh, suspect him, but I can't rule out the possibility that that mysterious figure might be Mizuki's dad. And maybe I don't know. I can't rule it out though, for sure. So uh, anyway. <laughs> That's uh, my thoughts right now. So we'll uh, get back to the game year. And all this stuff happened <laughs> in between. Oh boy, okay. So, if I remember correctly, uh, last we actually left off we were actually about to yeah access the map how you doing Mizuki sweetie Mizuki is lying sitting in the chair <laughs> that's right we're going back to Bloom Park again well, let's go then. It's like off we go into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> Saturday, eight thirteen p.m. When I returned to the scene, I brought Mizuki with me. I saw a suspicious figure in Somnium, but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I mean, they were, like, off in the grass, weren't they? Like, a fair distance away, wasn't it? I brought Mizuki along to help pin it down. I mean, I feel like that was, like, a memory that was, like, deep in her subconscious, though. It's like, can, can she uh, help pin it down? His that figure's location down. 
Somewhere around here, right? Yep. Uh, maybe in in between the, uh, the walls there. <laughs> like uh, right in here, past the bush. I mean, before I do click on on that, uh, anything to anything, Mizuki? Do you remember anything? Are you cold about the suspicious figure? Uh, look first. Uh, Mizuki is looking behind the bush. From this far away? <laughs> uh, are you cold? What do you care? I care. I care, Mizuki. You never cared about me, ever. Really? Well, if if Date hasn't ever cared, I care. That's what matters, is that I care. And I liked it that way. Really? I don't want you getting close to me. Why? You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Well, regardless, you hugged me. So that only speaks to me that she does care about Date, even though that she, she may be a little stubborn in her uh, thought process of how she, uh, of how Date feels about her. Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. She, uh, she really has a mind of her own, doesn't she? I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Actions speak louder than words. Keep that in mind, Mizuki. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so, Mizuki is saying that she would hug a cactus? Uh, ouch. <laughs> In fact, I wish it were a cactus. No, you don't. So stop worrying about me, okay? I can't help it. You're a kid. So she says. Yes. <laughs> so she says. Uh, do you remember anything? Yeah, I do. You do? What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. Littler, right. I was four. Okay. I remember it so clearly. This is where... I saw my mom and dad smile. Hmm. I had so many happy memories here. Hmm. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Really? The, the only happy memories are from here in this amusement park. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. Aww. But now... But now there's a dark shadow over it? This is where mom... Yeah. I feel so bad for Mizuki. Ugh. Uh... What's wrong? Nothing. It's like you're thinking about something, Mizuki. Come on, spell the beans. It's like, tell Uncle Date. <laughs> Just wondering where this goes. Where the... Where past the bush goes? Yeah, I'm wondering that too. Mizuki is looking into the bush. Or maybe behind it? Hmm... There was a third 
dialogue option there, and I didn't get to use. I didn't get to use it. Oh, dang it! All right. Well, I guess, I guess that was enough information. I guess. Okay. Well, I mean, there's nothing else here for me to really look at, right? So I, I guess we'll uh, move on here. Iba, what's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway. Okay. The subway. It has, of course, closed down. It is no longer in service. Darn it, I can't get my favorite sandwich. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. Of course. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason. As did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. The subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? I, I'd imagine it does. No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. Oh, okay. So a, a subway line that goes from below ground to ground level. Hmm. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Okay. Where is this going to lead us? Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Right. Correct. A railroad crossing. A railroad crossing? Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Oh, there we go. So I guess if there were any uh, cars in the vicinity at the time of the murder, the railroad line could lead them to where the possible, like, I guess, getaway car would be. Hmm. Searching. Then again, it's like, how many cars you know pass through here I mean it, this district is all closed off it's like other than you know this uh, you know murder here why would anyone else come to this district for whatever reason Uh, un unless it unless it's someone that is uh, still kind of living in this area but this whole area is supposed to be like condemned right so why would anyone still be living in an area where a uh, you know a chemical explosion happened I mean the the residue of the explosion would be very uh dangerous to one's health, right? So, why would anyone stay in this district? Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm okay, Mizuki. I'm just talking to... <laughs> I'm just talking to my uh, eyeball. <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> and talking to my eyeball. I've got something. What do you got? I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. Okay. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who is it? Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. So, it, it is gonna... The mysterious figure is Renju. 
what was he doing here? It's like, is he the one who killed Shoko? Um, and that just begs the question, why would he kill his ex-wife? Renju Okiura. My mind is reeling right now. So let me get this straight. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel. Date actually told her. Stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park. I mean, I know that. I don't know. I mean, now I'm just kind of thinking that you know maybe a Renju came across his his uh, ex-wife's corpse and just so that he wouldn't be suspected of her murder he brought her to Bloom Park and put her body there I don't know <laughs> alright uh, I feel like there's more to meets meets the eye with this. That it's gonna be a lot more complex than what I'm trying to think happened exactly. I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. I guess, yeah. You don't know that for sure, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Mizuki does, doesn't want to uh, think that her father was responsible for her mom's death. But, in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Yeah. It's like the the getaway car was a good distance away. <laughs> it's like that that's actually really smart thinking in using the uh, subway. Using that subway station, you could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Yeah. Daddy didn't do it. I I hope he didn't do it. But still, at the same time, it's like, gotta consider all the possibilities and think of all the possible subjects. Sub subjects? Suspects. <laughs> I am not so certain. Oh? What are you thinking, Aiba? Either way, I have to talk to Renju. Yeah, I get his side of the story. It's like, wh why exactly was he at uh, Bloom Park? And you can help me find him. Nothing really for me to examine except uh, Mizuki here. Mizuki is sitting in the passenger seat. She's trying to act tough, but I can tell she's nervous. <laughs> I mean, she's going through that uh, phase, right? <laughs> I mean, she's she's twelve. It's like every child goes through a a phase of trying to act tough, but isn't you know like very good at it. You know, d depending on you know the environment that they've grown up in. 
about the suspicious figure. You look like you want to say something about the Nile message. When was the last time you saw your dad? Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, when was the last time she saw him? I think about a week ago. A week ago, okay. When I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. Uh, what, and what exactly is his, uh, usual state? His usual state. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. I thought not. Not even for his own daughter. That's, that's kind of... That's kind of cold, isn't it? I mean... She found her mom's corpse. And... Y you think that... That would raise a red flag in Renju's mind. It's like... Oh God, my daughter found my ex-wife's corpse. I should go see her. But he didn't. It's like, what was he doing? Also, what was he thinking? That is very unusual. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Uh, spoke. With I it. don't remember. It was a while ago. Okay, so more than a week ago. What about you? What about me? You try calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. But nothing. And he didn't pick up. No. Uh, let's see. Um, you look like you want to say something. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> she, she, she is a stubborn little kid. I don't want to talk to you. E except you're talking to me. <laughs> I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. It's like, Mizuki, sweetie. It's like, we, we have to consider this. I'm sorry. Look, I don't want to believe it either. It's the same, but we can't rule it out. I've known him for more than five years now. He's like family to me. Just like you, Mizuki. I'd, I'd never want to put cuffs on him. I would never want Mizuki to see that. If he is, you know, Shoko's killer, I mean, I can just imagine what that would uh, do to Mizuki. I mean, her, I mean, seeing her mom's corpse was one, uh, was one thing, but uh, it's another thing that for you know her other parent to be responsible for her mom's death and I, I, I sincerely hope that's not going to be the case but uh, about the Nile message Nazuki Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? You seem surprised. I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. Hmm. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Uh, 
Yeah, that was it. It was? Uh, okay. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... Oh. <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. It's like... Just... I can uh, I can understand how she feels. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me ever. That he was counting on me. I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Yeah, it's like why didn't she, why did she invite Ota? Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Hmm. Okay, so th there are a number of people living in the district who are homeless. But I, I doubt it was it. I, I doubt it was a homeless individual. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Yeah. And and since and since Ota is an adult, even though he looks like a kid himself, <laughs> she uh, asked him to uh, accompany her. But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. I uh, maybe, yeah. And his car. What about his car? Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. It was Renju's chauffeur. That's who did it! <laughs> the only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. Hmm. Oh! Date, incoming call from the boss. Okay. <laughs> What? What's the boss calling about? Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Iba. Renju is a suspect. Yes, for the time being. He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. Oh boy. Uh, I feel like this is gonna be a doozy. With uh, Renju uh, being a suspect. Oh boy. He's been acting strange since last night. He has? He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He vanished after questioning? Where did he go? He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder either. That, oh boy, that's very suspicious then. It doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. Hmm. Oh, oh. rearview mirror? The rearview mirror. You can see this scenery through the rear window. <laughs> not much of a scenery. I can see boss through my left eye. <laughs> Iba is streaming the image in real time. I mean, so it's basically FaceTime. <laughs> I don't have a cell phone. Never cared for them. Huh. But Iba can connect to any network in range. That's how I'm able to communicate with HQ. Mizuki, I look like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. <laughs> she doesn't see what I see. Uh, would there be any reason for her to see what 
he could see in the first place. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, about Renju's questioning. He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to say at all, really. Hmm. That in itself is suspicious. Okay. Uh... Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. Mm, that's not much of an alibi. But that means no one can back up his story. Yeah. Uh... Why did you release him? So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Any idea where Renju is? No, I told you, he vanished. Where are you headed? Where are we headed? <laughs> Renju's house. Oh, okay. Don't bother. Why? I had local cops search the place. They didn't find anything. Nothing. Nothing. Didn't find anything. Where could he be? I. God, he's just becoming more and more suspicious. Which m makes me worried for Mizuki, if I'm being honest. So I, I guess uh, hang up the phone. All right, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Will do. Where the hell did Renju go? What you doing, Mizuki? Uh, sun poke? Hey, what? <laughs> Excuse me, Mizuki? What? Sun poke? I'm a little confused. What? Um, sun poke. Or something. Oh, sunfish pocket. I, uh, how, how did you get sunfish pocket from... Uh, sun poke. I mean, I, I see how he got sunfish from sun, but poke from pocket? Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north-northeast, in Akihabara. Akihabara? Okay, so off to Akihabara then, I guess. Sunfish Pocket, Saturday, 10.20 p.m. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 nice uh, plug to your own uh, game series there, Uchikoshi. 999. <laughs> Zero. Uh, that is awesome. <laughs> Can't be. Uh, oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. I feel doubly bad for Mizuki now. Both her parents dead. 
Renju. Oh, man. Hook right through his mouth. And his eye is gone. Just like Shoko. Oh, my God. What a way to be strung up. A hook through your mouth. Jesus. My God. Okay. Well, um. Oh, my God. Well, that rules. <laughs> Renju out of being a suspect. Who would want to have Mizuki's parents, both of her parents, killed? Hmm. You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? I'm guessing not much. My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. All his mind is on is trying to find who killed his best friend and his ex-wife. And his best friend's ex-wife. <laughs> oh my god. This is taking a real toll on Date. Not to mention Mizuki. Ugh. Just to, 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 at 12 years old, seeing both of her parents dead the, the way they were and the way they were like showcased. I mean, it feels like it feels like whoever killed them wanted wanted to showcase them and wanted the bodies to be found. I am wondering though uh, how long has it been since Renju was murdered. Oh my god. Well, um... I, I feel like talking to the boss here would be more important than talking to Pewter, so uh, let's talk to Pewter first. Uh, yeah, why, why is he here? Am I not allowed to be here? No, no, that's not it at all. I'm just wondering why you're here. No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. Oh. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Okay. Uh, you seem troubled. Two murders, one right after the other. It's like, uh, it's like I, I'm still kind of reeling. I mean, it, even though we haven't really known Shoko and Renju, like, at all, it... It still feels like a gut punch. I mean, it's especially seeing that the one who is really reeling from this is, uh, you know, their daughter. So, I, I mean, sure, Date is reeling as well, but this this would be more traumatic for Mizuki. Especially seeing that she's, you know, just a child. Uh. How could I not be? Yeah. 
Any thoughts on the culprit? Renju had his left eyeball removed. I saw that. And, th and this is just kind of a... A... Haunting... Kind of disturbing image. Hook right through the mouth. Oh, it's like... Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I... Uh. Right. Shoko too. It's like, why them? Specifically. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. Why would you think that? Huh? Pewter? Why would you think that? You're missing your left eye. It's not that simple. Come on. So you steal them from others. Why would he do that? There... There has to be a very twisted reason for why someone would take out two people's left eyeballs. Uh, and even Iba is all hey, that's <laughs> I'm kidding. Only a joke. Not a very good one, Pewter. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Pewter. Hmm. Actually, you lost your eye six years ago, correct? Right. Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. Right, his memories are hazy. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. It took a year? We have been together for more than five years. Huh. I thought that would have happened, like, almost, like, right away. And not like a year after he had lost his left eye. Why did it take so long? But well, actually, maybe the reason why is because they were still working on uh, the AI at the times and things weren't finalized yet. Uh, maybe. Let's see, uh, uh, how about you, boss? Getting any sleep? Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, she looks tired like me, yeah. Of course not. I've still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher-ups, the press. Yeah, uh, she has a lot to handle here. I'm just taking a little breather. Uh, what happened to Mizuki? She's sleeping at the hospital. She's back at the hospital? Really? Ugh. She needs to not be at the hospital. She she should be with Date during this time. I, someone that she trusts. It's like they've been living together for how long? Uh, has it been said how long they've been living together? I can't remember now. Um, but they've been living together for a long time, right? So, they, sh they should be, like, kind of, you know, comforting each other. It's like crying together. <laughs> uh, it's like just cry it all out. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. I see. Her mother and her father. 
Maybe Date should also get counseling. I hope she'll be okay. I hope so too. About Renju. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but Renju was murdered. I got that. No way this is a suicide. Yeah. It's like there just the the way he was showcased. This can't be a suicide. I mean, a hook through a through the mouth. There's no way. Not to mention the missing eye. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. As Shoko's, yes. The serial killer. The new Cyclops killer. The new Cyclops killer? What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. Okay. New. So there was a Cyclops killer before this? Like, is this new Cyclops killer like a copycat killer? Yes, several years ago. Pewter. Hmm. Several years ago, the same kind of thing happened? Hmm. There is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. Oh, that's true. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. What a thing to go viral. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. I, either he's... Either he, she is back... Or it's a copycat killer. It's like, what happened to the Cyclops killer from back then, exactly? It's like, was the... Was he... Eventually caught? It's like, what happened with him? Six years ago. Is that what you were talking about, boss? <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. I'd, I'd say so, yes. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. To distinguish it from this new one. Okay. It was six years ago in October. Back then... Well, these four girls were victims. It was just girls back then, was it? So... If it's the same killer, why would he kill a... Why would he kill a male? All of us... Yeah. Why would he kill a male all of a sudden? I feel like it could be a, a, a copycat killer, but the copycat killer doesn't uh, you know, know the full history of the Cyclops killer from back then. Maybe. Hmm. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. The mountains? But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. So that they were all killed at different times on different days. That's what that tells me. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. And there we go. 
But they did have two things in common. What was that? They were all young women. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like, why, oh, why has this new Cyclops killer now have all of a sudden killed a man? And? Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. For what purpose exactly? <laughs> Cyclops? A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. He did? What did he say? I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. His dear companions? What, like, they're his, like, wives? That's, uh, that, uh, thinking about it that way, that, that sounds really twisted. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Of course he did. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. It's like, I, I, I know I, but... <laughs> According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Uranus. I am a Uranus. Cyclopes were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. That I didn't know. Their smithing ability? So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes, it had to be. Yeah. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. Was this Cyclops captured? Yeah, this is what I want to know. No, in six years we never got a single trace. Really? So he managed to get away. Well, then, if it, if it is indeed the original Cyclops killer that is back, why, why would he kill Renju when all of his past victims were female? That's kind of curious, isn't it? I wonder if he might have been hired to kill Renju and Shoko. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. No, that's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Yeah. It's like that that's the wrinkle in all this. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Yeah. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. But Shoko and Renju it was their left eye, not their right. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay. So it has to be a copycat killer, right? We're missing their left eye. It's like the original copycat killer wouldn't all of a sudden change uh, the uh, the which eyeball to take out, right? It's like why why would they change their mo? It, it does it doesn't make sense. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. It is? The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. And the... Oh. Right, yeah. The reason why uh, there, were, there was... Uh, 
the reason why Shoko was screaming was because her eye was being uh, you know, dug out of her uh, skull. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, God. So it is indeed a copycat killer, then, that we're dealing with, and not the original Cyclops killer. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. Oh my god. That would be so in, in, excruciating. Ugh. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. No, no. It's like a serial killer doesn't change their M.O. like that. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Really? Really? Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. The what? A national secret? How is it a national secret? How can it be a national secret? <laughs> it's like, thank you, Date. <laughs> Date, please forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. No, I feel like I do need to know about the original case. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. While they're while they may not be the same, the killings from before could reveal something about the killings this now. At least I at least that's how I feel anyway. Iva, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Thank you. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. Really? Nothing? How is that possible? I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Was... Did someone cover their tracks and just, like, delete all that information? All the same, with the internet, nothing is... Tr nothing can be truly deleted off the internet. There is still, like... The, the code still exists. So you'd... You'd still be able to access that data. You'd just have to have someone who, you know, really knows what they're doing. You know, like a IT a guy or girl. <laughs> Only amateur theories. Hmm. All lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. Any other information you can give me, boss? That's all we have for now. All right. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Oh, I'll be continuing for sure. And looking into the cases now and then. It's like, we have to look into what happened nearly six years ago. Hold up. I wonder if the reason why uh, Date doesn't have any memory of more than six years ago. I, w I wonder... If he may actually be tied to the 
incidents from years back with the original killings. Hmm. But that doesn't mean, but that wouldn't exactly mean that he was the one who did the killings. Right? So, or, or maybe this is just a theory. This or just a theory. Maybe the, with the original killings that the Cyclops killer tried to kill Date. You know, scooped out his eye. But Date, like, survived and got away. I... I... Like I said, just a theory, but, you know... I can't help but think along those lines. Hmm. It's definitely very curious. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found, Sunfish Pocket. And look more into, uh, yeah, the murder scene. Oh boy. Okay. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I mean, that may be a good idea. That way he's refreshed and not, like, jumping to conclusions. I'm fine. Are you? Let's go, Iba. Understood. Well. Back to Sunfish Pocket. Back to the bulletin board that has zero on it. <laughs> Oh boy. <sighs> well, this is kind of ramping up, isn't it? Date, the vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Okay, um, wh why is... Why is Mizuki with me? Well, both of her parents are dead, so I, I guess the only, I guess, quote-unquote un, quote guardian she has is Date. So I guess she has to kind of tag along. Well, I guess it is what it is. <laughs> well, I know this may uh, be a little bit of a, shorter episode, but uh, I think I'm actually going to stop it here. I mean, I I, th I think the uh, looking over the murder scene is you know, going to take a fair bit. Um, so, and I don't want the video to run too terribly long. So we'll ease back into things with uh, AI here. So, oh boy. I feel so, so, so bad for Mizuki and Date since uh, Renju was a really close friend of his, but more so for Mizuki, I feel bad. Uh, to lose her parents at such a young age like that, uh, I can only imagine it. I can only imagine how it feels. I mean, my my heart breaks for her. But, yeah, anyway, we'll look at uh, Renju's murder scene next time. So, uh, things are really ramping up here, I feel. Well, I hope you all enjoyed watching. And thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, favorite, and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day or a night, wherever you may be.